welcome back students to our second session on location and extent in the last video we studied the location and extent neighboring countries and the historical background of india now in this following video we are going to study the location the latitudinal and longitudinal extent the neighboring countries and historical background of brazil so let's start with our second session on location and extent to start with i will be providing you with certain clues and the flag of that country the first clue is it is famous for samba dance the second clue it is known as the coffee pot of the world football is a very popular sport here now this is the flag of that country yes you have guessed it right we are talking about brazil this is the world map this is the equator now the equator as we've already seen divides the earth into two hemispheres latitudinally the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere this is the meridian it divides the earth longitudinally into two hemispheres the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere now if you see some part of brazil lies in the northwestern part of the earth while major part of brazil lies in the southwestern part of the earth these are the continents of the world this is the equator the meridian now if you see brazil lies in the south american continent it lies in the northern part of south america if you see here Brazil is the biggest country in South America and the fifth largest country of the world. Now we will study the latitudinal and longitudinal extent of Brazil. This is mainland Brazil. The latitudinal extent of Brazil mainland Brazil is from 5 degree 15 minutes north to 33 degree 45 minutes south. the longitudinal extent of mainland brazil is from 34 degree 45 minutes west to 73 degree 48 minutes west now if we see if we minus 73 from 34 the longitudinal extent of brazil is 39 which is more than india therefore brazil is the fifth largest country of the world now the equator if you see here passes through the northern part of brazil and the tropic of capricorn passes through the southern part of brazil we will now study the neighboring countries of brazil this is mainland brazil brazil is bordered or surrounded by the atlantic ocean to the east and the northeast it is surrounded by uruguay in the south by argentina paraguay and bolivia in southwest by peru in west by colombia in northwest by venezuela Guyana Suriname and French Guiana in the north So if we see Brazil shares its inland borders with every South American country except for Chile and Ecuador that means the only two countries that do not share their border with brazil are ecuador and chile 
this is the table that is given in your textbook on page number 11 wherein they have just given the directions. Now we will have to fill the neighboring countries and the oceans. So if you go to see uh, through our previous slide we understand that on the east of Brazil we have the Atlantic Ocean. To the west we have Peru. To the north we have the countries Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname and French Guiana. To the northwest we have Colombia. To the south we have Uruguay and to the southwest we have Argentina, Paraguay and Bolivia. We will now study the historical background of Brazil. The Portuguese arrived in 1500 and claimed Brazil as their colony. The Portuguese ruled them for more than 300 years. Brazil gained independence on 7th September in the year 1822. It was under the military rule for more than 50 years after independence. In the late 20th century, it overcame financial difficulties. That means it started developing economically in the late 20th century. It has federal presidential republic type of government. That means it has a multi-party federal republic with two legislative houses and the head of the state and the government is the president. And we'll go to an interesting question as to how Brazil got its name. Brazil got its name from a tree. During the 16th century, many European traders came here to buy Pau Brazil. Pau Brazil is a tree whose wood was red, is red in color. The red dye or the Brazil wood was high in demand in European cloth industry during that time. The popularity of the Brazil wood grew to such an extent that the native name Terra de Santa Cruz disappeared and Brazil became the official Portuguese name and thus Brazil got its We have now come to an end of this presentation. In our next video, we will study differences between India and Brazil in terms of location and extent number of states each country has, information with regards to the emblems and flags of both the countries. I'm sure you have understood. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.